What's going on everybody? Ben here and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers and as you saw by the title up above, we're going to be doing a 100 subscriber special and I have two fans with me here today. First we got James right here. Hey. We got we got Matt right there. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is uh, request a video. Um, it is going to be catching lizards. So I've got a few different requests for people who wanted to see more of those videos. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be catching a few lizards. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, guys. So we got a little lizard down here somewhere. You said in this leaf litter, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're going to start. Oh, there's a little spider right there. So we're going to start looking for him. The worm. Nice slugs. Oh, there he is right there. See him? Oh, oh he's running. Behind us. Oh. He's over here. I see him. It's a little wood pile. Whoa. All right, let's see if we can get in there. Grab him. Oh, oh, this. Oh, this. Oh, he's right under this log. Yeah, I see him. Whoa, careful, you're going to smash him. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, he found him. Right there. Right under there. Go ahead and back up a little. I see him. Up. He's right underneath this one. All right, get ready to grab him, okay? When I lift this up, he's right here. Oh, no. there he is. Got him. Ooh, I love it because he's fast. Okay, Matt. Come on. There yes. we go. Ooh, Ooh, wait, wait. Got a nice Let Let's get a nice shot of him. Got a nice little shot of him. Yep. There we go. All right, we got another one. Looking yeah. good. Nice. Alright, we'll have to clean this up in a little bit, but, um... Whoa, whoa. So, got one, now we're gonna go inside, we'll show you all of them, and let's get going. Okay guys, so we're back in my room now, um, we're with Matt here, and, um, we've got our temporary little cage that we've got them all in. So we've got three in here so far, go ahead and release the fourth when you're ready. There we go. Alright. So we've got four little guys in here. We're gonna set up their own little individual containers. We might even head out to PetSmart and um, if we wanna get a shot down here, that'll be good too. Um, we might even be able to um, get some crickets for them and see if we can get a little feeding video going. That'd be really cool. There we go. So if you want me to I'm gonna remove this plant. Oh, whoa. There we go. We get a nice... Do you know? No, it's just a leaf. Oh. So we got a nice view. So we got two little guys right here, probably little juveniles. Um, these guys are a bit bigger. Yeah. So this one right here is definitely a western fence lizard. Um, not pregnant because uh, mating season is early March and April. Uh, well, that's when hatching season ends. So they they mate, I believe, in November, October. Um, and so this one, I believe, is a painted lizard instead of a western. He looks like it. Because if we... I really hope he doesn't... Alright, so they're all... They're kind of... They're all running a lot. But yeah, if we look we at this one... This. Yeah. Yeah. These, uh, these patterns are slightly different. See, if you look on this one, uh, we've got little distinct brown marks right here. He's climbing oh. up. Mm -mm. Um... We've got little distinct brown marks there, so it may possibly just be a male. Um, we may have some juveniles here who haven't grown in their colors yet, but my understanding is that we've got three western fence lizards right there, and we've got a painted lizard right here. Um, so we're going to get their little individual containers set up, and we'll get right back. Alright guys, so now that we've got all of our lizards, we're gonna. I'm here with James now, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up all four of our containers. We got two for the bigger guys and then two for the smaller. These are just temporary cages that we're going to set up so we can admire them because we're going to have a nice little party here after. And um, that way uh, we can show all the other kids around and talk about them. All right, so first, I think we're going to, which one do you want to start on first? Small um, or big? I think we should start with big. All right. Because they're they're good. They're good. the bigger should kind of take a little longer. All right. So we'll start with the big. We'll get the small containers out of the way here. Where you go? All right, so we'll get we'll get our first container out. So this one, let's let's do it for the big one. So we're gonna need a we're gonna need a water, water dish. Kit. Water dish, basically just a Dixie cup cut a Dixie exactly. cup cut in half. So we do not have our uh, 
my reptile supplies with me at the moment. So we're just using, we're just making a thing out of uh, home, ha the household supplies, which can actually be done with anybody. Because okay. Household. So next. This is all the materials here. Yeah, so these are all the materials. So I'll go ahead and sit down. Okay, so next we're going to use paper towel. Paper towel is a great substrate for any lizard. Uh, a lot of people use it for leopard geckos and such. And we're just going to basically lay it out on the bottom like so. Um, so when we do that, um, that way everything is good to go. Um, and so this will act as a substrate. It can act as just like dirt and tiling. People use like that because it's simple, it's clean, it's cheap. And when your animal goes, just pull it out, set it off, and put a new one in. This actually might be one of the more expensive ones, maybe. Because you can pretty much find like what almost anything you said pretty much every, almost everywhere. Exactly. It's cheap, it's affordable, it's good to go. Okay, so next we're going to do a hide. And so this is, I wouldn't really recommend this, but um, only, it's all we got for now. And since it's temporary, it's not that big a deal. So this is just a piece of paper wrapped around a piece of tape on it. It was also cut in half. Because exactly, cut in half like this. And then that way we have two of them. So you're basically just going to set that in your cage, see if you can get it to stay. And that'll act as a nice little temporary log, basically. Um, and try and pick a good color. You don't want to pick a bright color like red or yellow because it might freak them out. So we've got that. And since we got the big guy in here, we're also going to add this nice plant. Which we're going to put in here, like so. We got this. And we also we got, got the water got the cup. Dixie cup. Which is the last thing which we should. Exactly. I guess I'm just going to put like, yeah, like maybe right there. There you go. So we're going to fill that Space up. Out. We'll fill that up later once we get everything where we want it to be. So next. Let's put the lizard in. So, would you like to do the honors for the big lizard? Uh, like to do the honor? It's okay. Let's go for it. Go for it. Nice and gentle. Oh. It's okay. Here we go. There we go. Oh, wow, Boom. you chose it. Okay, so if you want to come in here. Uh, get a nice shot of that. Yeah, so as you can see, he's hiding under there. He's back underneath that plant, so we don't really want to disturb him. Yes, um, also I would recommend if you guys are... I never really recommend taking anything out of the wild, but if you're going to admire it, um, also you're going to want to get a heat lamp. Uh, if you're going to... or if you're taking care of... Uh, if you rescued an animal, um, like once for a time uh, a neighbor had a um, alligator lizard in a uh, glue trap, you know, a mouse glue trap. So we took care of them, and uh, you, you make sure they get a heat lamp or a heat pad so uh, they stay warm because they're cold-blooded, so you're going to need that. So we're going to set this first one aside here. And we're going to pretty much do the same thing for the next container. Exactly. Your storage is full. Oh, that's okay. All right. Okay. So well, directed to this camera now because this camera is dead. All right. So we're just going to basically be doing the same thing here. Another, another roll of toilet paper. Not toilet paper. Paper towel. Paper towel. <laughs> Don't use toilet paper. That'll be very bad. There you go. So, another hide. I'm going to use the next list one. Okay. That's a good help. Add the hide. Add the water dish. Uh, in here. There's not really much to uh, add like because so. we don't have any other plants or anything. Yeah, and so this is just this is just going to be it. A lot of people actually will buy a log hide and they will set it up like so. And they will be good to go that way. So that's, that's another alternative um, that you can always look out for. All right, so next we're going to be doing our painted lizard back right here. Don't grab, Don't grab the tail. tail. That's wrong lizard. This is the right one. No, it's not. Is this the right lizard? No, that's it's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. No, that's the right lizard. Oh, it is? Yes, it is. Careful. It's watch out for the other ones. Just watch out. Matt, there you go. Gentle. Nice and gentle. gentle. Hold it by the neck. It's a good restraint. Yeah, but don't squeeze too hard. All right, go ahead and just lower it on in. It might jump out once it hits. There we go. Look at that beautiful, beautiful lizard. Nice coloration. So we're going to just move so this. We're going to fill that up later. Yeah. Alright, so go ahead and move it out of the way. Alright, okay. I'll film. You guys both get in this. I need my, my fans to be in this okay. one. Okay. Alright, so this one I'm going to help you guys with since fans these are basically oh, vision, vision yeah. tubs. Um, yes. So oh. it's, it's just a nice shallow cage here. So a lot smaller since towels, we have the though. juveniles. Uh, the paper towels are behind me. Huh? Go. Let's go ahead and just do one roll. Should be enough. Yeah, that would. Dear, here, just. There you go. Leave that out. 
Slide that oh, that's on like in perfect. there. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so there we go. We this. So you want to set up your own here, Matthew? Okay. There you go. So we got this. We'll set them up. This is basically just a the inside of a toilet paper roll. Uh, it's pretty much great for a hide. There you like, go. Not too bright, not too that. Exactly. Let's go ahead and add your water dish. Yeah, water dish, same thing, just smaller. And we'll fill that up later. All right, so we'll move yours over here. Uh, Matt, if I can get you over here for a nice shot, I'll move you guys over here. Yeah. All right, there we go. Here, we'll so put that's you right much here. all you have to do for there you go. these temporary cages. All right, Using so these... household items. Okay, yes, so right. next we're pretty sure we're ready to go. We're gonna get the lizards. So I'll, I'll, I'll do so this part since it's got a little some hard. shallow dishes. You want to hold this uh, one real sure. quick? All right, we're gonna see which one's squirmy. Right, we'll, we'll take this guy. Both being pretty calm right now. Okay, so this one's a juvenile, yep. right here. Doesn't feel threatened, so we're gonna put him in here. And then nice and Matt, move the lid. I need to. Yeah. I want right. to get. So a, he's uh, acting nice. Oh. Uh, I want to get a good shot. I want to. Oh. So I'm gonna get a good shot on him through the lid. Here we go. You can lift it up. Oh, uh, yeah. you can't really see from the side. But yeah, with smaller lizards like this one, you're definitely gonna want to move him into a bigger cage. Um. But like a lot of people will actually do this as um, actual cages. I recommend a little bit bigger of a size, but overall this should be okay. All right, so we're just gonna move this up for video purposes. Okay. Go for it. Hold on. Nice and gentle. Right Grab towards him. the front of him. Yeah, you. There you go. Lift him up on your he hand there. It would be very calm. There you go. Grab him more by the neck because it'll kind of like stop him. It's Set that's him good. Down. Alright, this one's being a lot calmer, so we can uh, take more good shot. Let's make sure it's okay here. He seems very, like... He's a little scared, so he should be okay. Yeah, there he is. That was a nice shot. There you go. So, of course, you're also going to want... Um, you're also going to want breathing holes for these guys. Yes. Um, they're good for now. I'm gonna set these up in a second and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we finally finished everything. Yep. This is James, if you haven't noticed, and this is Matt. They are both subscribers. Thank you guys very much for joining me. No problem. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to James' account at... Um, uh, In Inkly Gaming. There you go, I'll put the link in the description. Um, so if we take one last look over here at what we all did. So we successfully captured and built nice cute little tanks for all of these guys and um just outside we've got a nice barbecue being set up and what we're going we're going to be heading out there very soon and um showing everybody these cool lizards and teaching them all about them so one more time thank you guys for watching so much i uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe thank you so much guys for 100 subscribers I know I've been posting much, but I'll, I'll try and get back onto that route. And um, thank you very much. So we'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Peace.